Hey there, thank you for joining me in this video. And now I'm going to show you how you can use Upload It app uh, to accept custom images from your customers on your Shopify store. All right. So once you install the app and you open the app from the Shopify app setting in your store, you will see a dashboard like this. We might change few things in the dashboard in past, sorry, in future, but in that case, you will see, uh, rarely see any differences, all right? So first thing you need to do is, once you're in the app, you can see a few features. For example, this is the blog area. That means here you'll be able to see all the training materials that is related to upload it app, okay? And you can access that here, or you can click on see all announcement, and you can check uh, everything about the uploaded app and uh, the training that you needed. Everything right there in the app. All right. So now click on the dashboard. Upload it is very simple and straightforward app. And it's one of the most competitive custom image upload app available in Shopify store. All right. And the first thing is you need to change the S3 settings. This is called Amazon S3. Now this is an optional step, but this is recommended if you want all the images to upload in your Amazon S3 server. That means all the images that your customers are going to upload through your product pages in your Shopify store will be stored in your Amazon server. You will have access to it. But in case if you don't fill these details, if you don't use the S3, then all the images will be stored to our servers all right, and uh, you will not have access to those images, uh, the back end of the images. Okay, so it is recommended that you use your own AWS settings. You can easily get it from your uh, Amazon AWS account. Okay, you need bucket ID key and secret key. After that, just click on save credentials. And from now, all the images will go to your Amazon AWS account. If you want to start right now, then you can skip this and go back to dashboard where you can uh, start using uh, the app by doing some certain settings, which is very easy. So first thing you need to do is you need to click on new upload set. This will open a box like this, all right? And now you can filter the way you want to, uh, you want the specific product to show the upload button, all right? So you can choose the product type from a different options like when product tag is or vendor or type or you can put a url directly okay so for example if a product you you have a url you can choose this and you can paste the url here let me show you the demo so let's say if i want to show i want my customers to upload a custom image in this particular product you know i want a button somewhere here under the quantity and you know, or maybe under the buy now button where customer can upload a image from his uh, computer and then he can place an order with the image. So this way you can process a custom order with image accepted from the customer. So for that, what you can do is you can copy the URL, go back to the app settings and paste it here. Okay. Now the label is what you want it to say. For example, we can say, let's say, uh, click here to upload. You can use the same field name too. All right. And you can choose the file extension, which you want to accept from customer. You can choose all three. They are the most common file extensions, JPEG, GIF, and PNG. So after you're done, then you can simply click on save changes. All right, so it will take a moment to save it. And then you can go back to the product and hit refresh. Let's see if it is showing the upload button. Here, here this is, here you can see, it is showing an upload button here, which says click here to upload. And when you click on the button, then it opens the box where customer can add the image. So let's say we need to customize this button, you know, we need a different icon or we need a different text here. So for that, you can go back to the app and go to 
the option called change button style. Now we have an amazing option where you can choose the color of the button as well as the text. For example, button, you can change the button text to something like upload now. And I want to, let's say I want to make it red, a little bit of red. So I can simply drag this color changer here like this. Text color, let's say white, and you can even choose the upload icon. You know, this little icon, it reflects right here on the left hand side. Okay, so if you're happy with everything, they can click on save changes. And wait for a second to load. All right, we are done. Now let's head back to the product page and click on refresh. See, now the button is changed to red color and the text is now upload now. So this way your customer can come to the page and you can provide the instructions in the product description that how customer need to click on the upload button and upload a custom email. So let's see how it works. So once you have done, you need, your customer can come to the page, click on upload image like this. Now the best part is he can even edit it into a small editor. Okay, this is the area that he can choose, he can crop it down like this. This is like customer can edit the image any ways he want it. And once he's okay with that, he can click on the small right icon like this and then click on save. Save, okay, and then after that, customer can Cross the button. All right. And it shows that sample.jpg, that is the name of the file, is uploaded. Now he can click on buy now and go to the checkout page. As you can see, it shows that the image is uploaded to the Amazon AWS basket here. You know, so this is not for your customer, he doesn't need to uh, care about it. It's just I'm showing you that this particular text, it shows this image is successfully uploaded. Now when customer completes the order, place the order and completes it, then he simply, uh, uh, you will receive an order notification and you can see this image attached to the order. You can download the image and you can use it any ways you want. So this is it, it's so easy. You can also choose another upload field and you can like have multiple uploads if you want, for example, three images from customer, you want four images from customer or uh, you want a specific product you can give and and or condition for example you need a product that should have something like product type is different let's say backpack okay and you can put an and or or condition that means uh, the product you are choosing for example you need to bulk up, up, update the products right you want the upload button in the bulk of products like 100 products in that case, you can use the conditioning option and you can automatically uh, mass edit the product and have, have the upload button there. So for this, uh, you can choose this conditioning. If you just want for one product, you, the best way you can do is, is use the URL. All right, and if you want to repeat the whole thing, you can click a duplicate button here like this. So it will duplicate the whole thing and you can make again. If you want, uh, to do it for another set of product, you can click on new upload set. For example, this was upload set one and this is upload set number two. Now you can put new conditions and you can update new products and you can do a lot of things. So this way you can edit one product or 1000 product, it doesn't matter. All right, everything is very easy with Upload It app. If you have any question, then you can go back to the dashboard and on the corner right corner of the screen right corner bottom you can see a small box let me show you that let's go back to the app dashboard so it, it might take some time to load all right so here we are app dashboard is back and once again, the video that you're watching right now is right in on this screen. Let me close it. This is the small, small box. So for the help, you can see the small icon here. Click on that, uh, drop your name and email, and we will receive a support ticket right to our support desk.
everything is easy, straightforward, and make sure you go through the training area. We will keep on updating it with the new tips and tricks to make uh, it one of the best upload custom upload app on Shopify. We are going to add more things like video uploads, thumbnail uploads, etc. in future. So for now, just go ahead and use it. And in case of issues, just contact me and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you're going to enjoy this app. And once again, thank you for your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.